It is buried inside the church of Santa Maria delle Grazie. Time has not been kind. It is only kept alive through many operations and cosmetic surgery. I have to pass through these air cleaning chambers to see it, so I don't contaminate it in any way. This is one of the jewels of Western civilization. A painting so perfect that from the moment it was completed, it was considered a masterpiece. Truly the miracle of Milan is not the fashion industry or the economy, but this painting. Due to his mistaken experiment with a new process of painting, it had begun to disintegrate. A bomb destroyed most of the room, but miraculously left the Last Supper standing. The scene shows the Last Supper of Christ with his disciples before his betrayal and crucifixion. Christ has revealed to the disciples that there is a traitor amongst them. Who is it? They are thinking. Is it him there? Or is it him next to me? Oh, God forbid. Have I done something to betray my Lord? Recently, thanks to the Da Vinci Code, people have started to believe the disciple to the left of Christ is not John, but Mary Magdalene. They say that Christ married Mary before his death, and she bore his son. My mother would kill me if she ever heard me talking about such things. Of course, it's not true. Yes, the face of John is feminine, but a woman at the Last Supper This is the Cappella Brancacci. We've come to see Masaccio's Adam and Eve. Yeah. Let me have a look and see what it says here. Here the beauty of the nude was first revealed. And here a calm dignity for the first time in... Sophie, can you stop and we try to feel something about the thing? No, I'm just looking. Yeah. Sometimes the English read a little too much. Quite right. Yeah. This is out of date anyway. Yeah. No words can express the intensity of emotion in Masaccio's timeless image of human sorrow. This chapel is a window back in time to the streets of Florence in the 15th century. Let's face it, if you call this a fountain, it's like calling Big Bang an alarm clock. This is a real monumento d'acqua. Designed by Nicolò Salvi in 1732, it took almost 30 years to complete. It shows the god Neptune harnessing the waters of the world. But most people come here for one reason. He said, if you throw one coin into the fountain, you come back to Rome. If you throw two coins, you will marry a beautiful Roman girl. If you throw three, you will marry a beautiful girl in Roma. 
I don't know what happens with Paul, but it's got to be pretty good.